um, give us a bit of color as far as you know what's happening with Quasar and what makes you guys so excited about this technology. Yeah, uh, we're super excited about Quasar. So first of all, what is what is Quasar? Um, so that that goes back to um, you know, one of the benefits of being a pioneer in in scaling Ethereum is. Uh, you you also become one of the first to run into issues that you need to come uh, that problems that you need to solve, and uh, one of the issues that the OMG team had uh, run into and started working on was this exit window when uh, uh, network users uh, try to uh, take funds out of OMG network and back to the main chain. Um, they needed to wait for fourteen days. Uh, to uh, th this challenge period before they will see the funds on on L1, uh, which of course um, is a uh, is not an optimal user experience. And the team recognized that and started doing a lot of research around what could be done to uh, eliminate that challenge period, uh, so that we could create a much better user experience. And that's what led to the creation of of, of Quasar, which is a form of fast exit um, that allows. Uh, uh, a liquidity provider to take on the risk of letting a user exit coin quote early um, and uh, so that they could have the funds available in, in, the, in the Ethereum wallet much more quickly. And uh, I know the community has been uh, anticipating the release of Quasar for quite some time and the, the code actually had been uh, written and frozen for a while and we've been looking for uh, an audit firm to audit the smart contracts and given the given how uh, how much excitement is going on in, in the blockchain space right now, a lot of other firms are just slammed. But uh, we're we're just excited that we finally found one that 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 we uh, are really excited to work with, and they have committed to finishing the audit of the con uh, of the Quasar smart contracts before the end of May. Uh, so so we're super excited about that, and and can't wait to uh, make that feature publicly available. Yeah, that, that ties into this larger emerging need that has to do with how does one connect different chains and different L2 solutions? Um, how does one move funds from one place to another? And how does one connect things that are going on in one chain with things that you want to happen in some other chain? So imagine, for example, an atomic swap that would connect two chains. So if you did something in one chain, then you know, something else would happen with um, certainty on some other chain. So Quasar is just one special case of that. As, as we see um, several more blockchains come online, and as we see several new L2 solutions come online, uh, we're, we're looking, we're facing a world where um, we need to figure out how to connect all these things in a way that um, people um, like, like, like using them and uh, that, that are convenient and also easy for developers to use. So strategically, we're extremely interested in um, questions relating to uh, connecting L2s directly without having to go through L1. So imagine being on an L2 and being able to transfer funds to some other L2. Um, and then, of course, we need to connect all the L1s. So um, this would be something like um, uh, Ethereum with uh, Solano or, or whoever else. So um, uh, once the dust settles a little bit on the L2 side, um, I suspect um, a, a lot of a lot of companies will be dealing with these bridging needs. How does one conveniently, cost effectively, and safely connect all the different chains and all the different L two solutions? <laughs> 